In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a master database. We're going to have a look at the settings, data flags, transportable files, model and network objects, and then setting a coordinate system. To get started, we're going to create a new master database. We click on the Open Create Master Database icon. And you'll see that ICM has two options. The only difference between the two is the standalone can only be used by a single person. The work group option, however, can be used by a team of modelers, which means that multiple people can access the same master database at the same time. Today, we're just going to be using the standalone option and we're going to click new. Under the Innovise training folder, we're just going to create a new master database called tutorials and click OK. And we'll see there that the master database object has now appeared. In the new master database, we're going to set up some customized data flags. So to do this, we go to file, master database settings and user defined flags. These flags are used for marking where the data comes from and the changes that we make along the way. It really helps to just um, track our decisions and data quality. So I'm going to add in my initials here, give it a color and just give it a description. Click OK. And then to apply my initials to all the manual changes that I make, we click on the flag to use the edit flag and then make sure that our initials are in the drop down. To get started, I'm going to copy some information from a different master database. To do this, we use what's called a transportable database because we don't want to be copying and pasting master databases. To access the transportable, we go to File, Open, Transportable Database. We find the file which has the extension .icmt and click Open. You can see the files available in the transportable and we can right click and copy and simply right click and paste into our master database. We close the transportable and then we complete. The transportable files sit in what we call a model group. It's just simply a folder. So in Windows Explorer, it's a folder that has some files in it. And we're going to create a new one for our project. Right click on the master database, go new, model group. And we're going to call it Storm Tutorial. Right at the moment, it's an empty folder. So to create an object in the folder, we right click again and go new. And this time we're going to create a model network. And we're going to call that Urban Network. And click OK. Now if we double click on the Urban Network, it'll open up in the Geo Plan, which we can maximise. And you'll see that we've got some new toolbars here to allow us to do some drawing and some creating. The first thing you should do when you've created a new network is set the projection for that network. So to do this, we go to GeoPlan, Set Coordinate System. You can see the default is non-Earth. We click on the three ellipses. And the best way to do this is to type in the start of your coordinate system. So we're going to go for the map grid of Australia, 94 and Zone 55. We click OK. And if this is an area that you work in all the time, you can set that as the default, but we're just going to click OK. 